What's up guys, S. Gibbs here to show off my uh, Call of Duty Ghost PlayStation 4, my little setup here, and I'm showing you how I set up my assault rifle, uh, and I'm, I'm actually going with a new gun this time around, the SC-2010, um, and I also like the SA-805. This is a beginner's tip here, guys. One thing that you want to focus on when you're picking your mods uh, for... Uh, this game is you definitely want to focus on having uh, the silencer and why do I say having the silencer well the silencer is very important because it hides you on the map when you fire and I think that's probably the quickest way for anyone to improve on the field uh, uh, in the game I mean that's on the field of battle it, it, if you can't be seen no one's gonna find you here I'm looking through some grenade launchers uh, but back to the main gun Get a silencer for the first thing that you're buying as a perk, an upgrade to your uh, offensive arsenal. And then something that you may want to go with as you, if you get better is maybe the muzzle brake. The muzzle brake gives you a little bit more power, a little bit more range with your gun. But overall, you want to focus on that silencer. This is the number one thing that you need to pick up. And I also recommend to purchase the IEDs in the lethal category uh, because those IEDs are going to give you free, um, you know, if you will, cheap kills because you can throw them over the map. Yes, they disappear when you die, but uh, when you do get those IED kills, it's just a couple extra uh, stat boosts, if you will, to the category. Here you're going to see I'm purchasing a, an automatic uh, pistol, which uh, actually comes in handy quite a bit for me, uh, and it's uh, pretty successful for my setup. Uh, I'll go over my advanced setup coming up next. I do have a new setup with my Remington R5 and Honey Badger that works real well. Uh, here is just some uh, quick uh, perks uh, you, you want to go all speed but we'll break that down in our next breakdown coming up next